Agency, Dr. Bindu Mayu, thank you for joining me. So I want to first start with the Miami-Dade County Mayor. He just told us that he is banning effective immediately mopeds and scooters. Can you explain to our viewers why this is so important? The, one of the important reasons for that may have been a recent research study that came out um, showing that surfaces um, can carry infectious virions for at least a few days, up to three days. So that may be a very important reason why he did that. So you're, say, you're saying surfaces can carry the, the infections, correct? Now, Calvin and I were discussing this a little while ago. Is that the same case for if somebody coughs? Can the coronavirus sort of, you know, live in the air? Correct. So those droplets, when you cough or sneeze, those droplets go through the air. They may fall on surfaces. It could be plastic. It could be stainless steel um, and uh, stick around for a while. Uh, in the research study, it showed that it could stick around for up to 72 hours. Now, that was done in the research lab. We don't know in the real world what that's going to translate into. I imagine over the next few years, we'll really know, pardon me, over the next few months, we'll really know what's going on. But for now, we are on the side of caution. So with that being said, you know, earlier we were saying people don't need to rush out and buy masks for themselves. What is your opinion on the mask? Should people be buying them? Is it a precaution? What are your thoughts? A um, couple of things. Um, wear a mask, especially if you have respiratory symptoms and you have to be out in the community because you have to run an essential errand. So what that does is it traps those cough and sneeze particles, those uh, aerosols that can be out in the air carrying infectious variants. So you keep that confined closer to you. So wear that if the mask doesn't interfere with your breathing. Um, on the flip side, if you are nervous of catching something, I know there's a psychological element to it, so I'm not going to tell someone not to wear a mask. But that said, you don't want to hoard it so that people who really need them can't use them, right? So it's, it's always, um, you're thinking about yourself, you're protecting yourself, but you're also wanting to protect the vulnerable. I understand. Now, I have a question as far as when it comes to sending and receiving a package. I've seen, you know, online people have been discussing it. Can you catch the coronavirus from touching, uh, you know, a box that you've received as a shipment? I, I'm perhaps. So uh, there's a solution to that. So the same research study that showed that infectious variants can be on surfaces for a while also showed that it can be on cardboard for up to 24 hours. So if you are receiving packages in the mail, just wipe them down with your regular um, sari wipes or disinfectant wipes that you use in the house before you open them. And then after you wipe them down, wash your hands, open them. So you're basically a uh, common sense or on the side of caution and then use common sense, wash your hands and you should be fine. Correct. I want to ask you one last question, doctor, before we let you go. Families with pets, can you tell me, you know, if somebody has the coronavirus and they are home self-isolating, should they be around their pets? Can their pets contract the virus? So there was a bit of a confusion early on because there was a study out of Germany, I believe, that said uh, there was a dog that potentially caught it from its owner, but it, it hasn't been uh, vetted. So as of now, uh, the an animals have different coronaviruses than humans do. So they can't catch it from us and we can't catch it from them. Okay, thank you, Dr. Mai, so much for answering all of my questions. Louie and Christy, I'll send it back to you. That is so important, being the daddy of two dogs that I love very, very much. There's no way I am social distancing from my puppies. Okay. There, I said it. Thank you.